What's up guys, my name is Techman, and today we'll be making our very own PC. I've never done this before, so see how it goes. Leave a like, and in, and... Right, so, I wanted to choose the Z370 motherboard because I'm not going to use SY, but I just want the faster performance because the new generation, 8th generation CPU cores are just really good. Alright, so I'm going to pull out the motherboard in a minute. Right. And there's the motherboard, guys. Okay. Alright, so let's crack open our CPU. So this is the Intel Core i5-8400 LJ1151. Alright, so yeah, we're just going to use the normal Intel thingy. Good paperwork. Here's the CPU. Come on, focus, stupid camera. Okay. Right, so I think there's already some. Uh, I forgot what it's called. There's already some stuff on it, so I don't need to put it down. I'll just make sure that goes there. Alright, so we have our CPU. Let's just open it up. Alright. Oh, okay. Whoa. I can feel a lot of power in this. There we go, and I'm just gonna close it. What the hell? Alright, there we go. Ugh. There we go, CPUs is in, CPUs now in. Next we have our 16 gigabytes of RAM. Right, so I, f I remember what this is, it's called thermal paste, that bit there, okay. Let's open up the RAM, I will just cut through and get right, DDR4 8 gigab bus speed, so it's high performance. Basically, I'm going to be using this PC for live streaming, editing, and gaming. 8 gigabytes of RAM. The other one, 16 gigabytes of RAM in total. Alright, so I just put the cooler on, pretty easy, and I'll just connect this up. This is going to break. I think it is. I think I'm going to break it. Anyway, let's move on to the RAM. Alright, now onto the RAM, 8 gigabytes in here. There we go. There we go. And then one more. I swear I'm gonna break this. It's gonna, it's gonna break. It's not gonna work first try. When I turn on the whole PC, it probably won't turn on. Next is um the the PC case. So this is the Corsair Spec 1. I haven't really opened it yet, so let's just do it. Let's open it right now. Alright, so here it is. This is a crappy box. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Nice yellow, and then inside you've got some pretty good stuff. And this is what it looks like inside. Pretty good. So the motherboard stands off has already been installed for us so we just need to put on the screws that the motherboard gave us. Time to install the best part, the IO shield. So I finally got the IO in IO shield in, don't know why that took freaking forever, but whatever a YOLO, let's go. Right now let's screw all those screws in and we'll be good to go. Okay so I've got the screws here, alright so let's just The last one and secure. Right, this is good to go. I am just gonna fix up those um, cable management and yeah, I'll just be right back. I know here, so power buttons there and then HD audio there. So yeah, cable management is good. Next is SSD and HDD. 
Alright, moving on to the C, um, PSU. Alright, I haven't even opened this. This is enough. Alright. Here it is. Throw this box away. There we go. Alright, let's put the power supply down. And here it is. Now let's put it in. Alright, here's our CPU. And in it goes. Now, okay. There we go. That's our CPU in. Now let's screw it in. This screwdriver is just great. Like, too easy. Alright, now. Screw. Power supplies and stuff into the to motherboard. Alright, that's done. Onto the motherboard. Twenty-four plus pin ATX is gonna be plugged in right. Come on. Oh come on. There we go. Just plug it in more. Okay, for the 8 pin CPU, I'm just gonna run it across the back here and then Oh no, I don't think it's enough. Alright, All right, yep, that's plugged in. Good. Now, next would be the SSDs and hard drives. Right, so I've got the cage out and now I just need to put it all in. And then I've got the back screws to put in. And that is the HDD cave. And there we go. Now, if we spin it to the back, we might as well get our Kingston 120GB SSD, so then we can plug both of them in together now. And we're going to be putting it right here. Maybe like this. Maybe. I'm not sure. So, both of my SSD and hard drive are in. There's hard drive and SSD. Okay, so now... And now we've got the Wi-Fi card. All right, let's put it in. All right, let's get the PCI card. It's right here. All right, and there we go. It's nice and secure. All right, we'll put on the antennas. There we go. And then I think it's this way. There we. Go. Next one, and there you go, PCI is installed. Now, the best part of all, the graphics card. So this is the MSI 1050 GeForce GDX. All right, we might as well just unbox this together because it's the last PC part. That the 1050, all right. All right, here we go, putting in the 1050. And oh, <laughs> oh, yes, we've done it. Now let's just screw it in. Oh my god, it's the GTX 1050. It's inside the PC. Hopefully, this works. Alright guys, come on, we've got this. We can do this. And then we've got to install Windows 10. Because Windows 10 is just too expensive. Stupid Windows 10. It's in. It's going in. It's in. Okay. It's on. And now, hopefully, come on, we've got this. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, here we go. Wait, where's the power button? There it is. Oh, is it turning on? <gasps> we did it! We did it! It's on! Oh my god! We actually did it! <laughs>